on social media. Low Country doctors say they haven't experienced any major side effects so far in South Carolina. News 2's Riley Benson joins us live from the medical district in downtown Charleston. And Riley, Low Country doctors tell you it's been a smooth rollout so far. Yeah, Sophia, that's right. Doctors say the side effects and reactions they're seeing among those who have received the COVID-19 vaccine so far are normal and to be expected. Now, side effects have ranged from cold chills and headaches to soreness of the arm. Doctors say cases of severe reactions have been few and far between so far. Thousands of South Carolinians have been vaccinated and more help is on the way. As more and more doses are administered, some worry about the possible side effects that could that could follow. This comes after three Alaska health care workers experienced allergic reactions in three consecutive days. Low country doctors say numbers of reaction cases among the vaccinated have been low, but say having a reaction is not out of the realm of possibilities. If you're getting and receiving the vaccination in a medical setting, we're certainly going to be able to ensure that we're watching and, and monitoring. And if anything happens, you know, certainly anyone across the low country, across the state, you know, our emergency physicians are ready to take care of anyone that's there. And we really, I got to tell you, we would rather take care of an allergic reaction and, and see how we could treat that uh, certainly much more than COVID-19. I also spoke with doctors at Roper Francis Hospital behind me. They say the most extreme cases of reaction they're seeing are those cold chills and headaches that can be treated with Tylenol. And they say they'll likely last for no longer than a day. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, count on two. U.S. Senator from South Carolina, Tim Scott, received his code.